Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do uh, question number eight, which is a proof. Um, so what we're doing is we're given a couple of assumptions or we're given a couple of criteria here that line BC is parallel to line EF. So what I can do is I'm just gonna mark those two lines in with an arrow, okay, a single arrow, indicating that those two lines are now parallel. And we also know that angle one equals angle three. Okay, so I'll mark the two angles and I'll put a single slash through them. And what we wanna be able to prove is the resulting statement here is state is a uh, line uh, AB parallel to line DE. So we want to be able to prove the two those two vertical lines to see if they are if they are going to be parallel by using our properties of angles. Okay, so the very first thing we can do for the statement here is let's start off by just applying what's given. So our first statement here will be BC is parallel to EF. Okay, and the reason for that we will say is that it's a given statement. So we know that to be true because that's given to us in the question. And we also know that angle one is equal to angle three. So what I can do also is write those down. Okay, and that's gonna take care of the two steps that we know, um, which we don't have to use any property of angles in order to determine if they're true. So we know those are given. So now if we know those two are given, what else can we say here? Well, because we know BC okay, is parallel to EF, those two, um, if those two lines are parallel, we know that the line that cuts through them will have angles that are corresponding uh, in order to be equal. So what we could say, as another statement and that we can offer a, a reason for is we can say angle two, so let me put that back in here, angle two is equal to um, angle three. And why can we say that that's true? It's because those are corresponding angles to a parallel line. So we can just write down as our reason um, corresponding angles. Okay, so that's given us a third statement. So that was our step one, step two, okay, step three. Um, so we're just thinking, we're just working on a reasoning pattern here. So now we have three statements um, that we can say with um, proof or give a valid reason of why those statements are true. So our next statement that we could look at here, um, so it's always good to see what you've got, is if we look at statements two and three, it says angle one is equal to angle three, and then angle two is equal to angle three. So then we can get a fourth statement from this. We can say, because both are equal to angle three, angle one is now equal to angle two. Okay, and we can say that because it is um, by substitution, okay, or they're, um, equal to um, angle three, okay, is another way you could say it, but a simple st statement would be substitution. So now that means angle one is equal to angle two, so that means I can now mark that in, okay? Now what does that tell us? Well, now we have proven that angle one and angle two are the same, and that means that line BC which cuts the two lines, A and B, A, B, and D, E, okay, is pr if they're both the same, then that means um, we have corresponding angles. So our fifth and final statement, we can definitively say that um, line segment A, B is parallel to line segment E, D because angle one and angle two are the same, so again, that is a corresponding angle. Okay, so that's the property uh, that we have a transversal line that if a transversal line um, cuts across two parallel lines, so that's like this, okay, and if these two angles are equal, then we know the two lines are parallel. All right, so that's essentially what we said there. So our final statement, whoops, um, our final statement here, AB parallel to ED um, follows from the previous steps above and we can provide a reason for that. Okay, so that's the thinking 
that you kind of have to sort of work through with this, especially when they don't give you any steps in the statements or the reasons to fill in. Okay, so you, you kind of have to start from scratch. So the easiest thing to do is always just start by writing down your given statements, okay, and putting them in um, as the statement and as the reason. Mark them in into your diagram and then start to see whether there's some other relationship that starts to appear, okay? So the obvious one here is that when two angles are equal to each other, then we can say that um, by definition, by through substitution, two more are equal to each other, okay? And then as we mark that in, we can kind of go from there with that. All right, so that's how I would approach question number eight when you're trying to do it from um, scratch without any help or any hints um, in the given table.